installing my uh, Mad Dog uh, winch on a 2006 Polaris 500 and uh, kind of forgot about the video um, I was looking for how to install on uh, on YouTube and I couldn't find anything so uh, I kind of figure out on my own so I took off the bumper completely and also I took off the storage department and everything um, so once you take off the front uh, the, the bumper there are two holes right there and uh, you have to have this bracket uh, so this bracket it came with a winch but I'm pretty sure you can buy it separately and so this bracket is actually that's how it looks like that's the bracket so this two two bolts on each side that's how you attach to um, to four wheeler so that's that's pretty much two bolts right here and then I had this uh, this bracket um, that fa Fairfield what is it called fair fairly uh, uh, it's attaches to this thing and uh, and and this thing attaches together with uh, this bracket to uh, to this thing right here but uh, I'm pretty sure you can get away with uh, just regular uh, that's the one that I had uh, but I don't know if you can get away with this one yeah, it seems like the hole are not lining up right here they kind of lining up but uh, I don't think I would have been able to attach it with this thing so it's much easier to attach much easier to attach with this bracket uh, the one in the back okay. Okay, I'm attach it right there and seems like pretty straightforward so with Polaris um, everything comes, comes pre-wired and to to mount your uh, winch contact contactor it's actually a really interesting location so if you look at the formula from the front it's on the right hand side and it's uh, right here this this is a splash shield so it's pretty much it was like this it just like this you just uh, remove uh, 3 8 bolts and uh, that's what's going on so here you have your plus so uh, red and, and black wires um, that goes go back to the um, to the battery so that's kind of cool so it uh, even says remove for winch uh, wiring so that's kind of nice so after I connected this wires to the winch, the yellow and blue underneath, underneath um, and I uh, I have them out uh, by the other um, wires, the one that, that go to the battery right there. It even says right here winch wire. It's pre-wired, pretty cool. And then so I had to locate my power. Um, power wire which is this one and since since this is flat one I have uh, I was provided with a flat connector so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna start this and then I have this uh, wire that I had uh, with a kit so I'm gonna this one I'm gonna connect to uh, this connector right here and uh, and this the remaining one I'm just gonna use that uh, uh, flat connector and I'm gonna connect it right there so uh, so that's what's going on right here and yeah I have I have this wire right here I'm just thinking I'm probably gonna cut this off because otherwise it's too stiff so I'm gonna connect it right now now I have them all connected, decided not to cut this uh, 
a red and black wire so just gonna connect the control switch and uh, I'm gonna try to test it so I have everything installed except uh, these things I forgot to put them on I'm gonna put them on later um, so everything installed, everything wired, I have my uh, power made one, everything is connected right here, everything is connected, and uh, my control switch is right here, and uh, like I said, I really like the way Polaris thing, uh, made things, so they had this wire was going out on the back and it's actually this one so I have everything connected moment of truth gonna check it out the key is on and let's see how oh. yeah it does work nice Nice. Let's uh, let's see if it works without power. No, it doesn't work good. Okay, that's that's how you do it on uh, 2006 Polaris 500. I'm still got it to put all everything really nice and gonna use uh, zip ties and everything gonna make it look uh, nice and. So this this way it's not gonna be all loose and stuff. All done, winch is in and uh, my bumper the storage box are in. And uh, my control 